Previously on Survivor Bush, the two tribes merged and Rhino set his sights on Daniel. In the new tribe, Rhino tried to pull as many votes as he could. At the immunity challenge, Jackson won by turning his brain into a metronome and standing up closest to one hour. Tensions rose at tribal council, but both sides stayed loyal, making a 5-5 vote. However, Daniel shocked everyone and pulled out the hidden immunity idol and Rhino was sent home. Nine are left. Who will go home tonight? Nothing to win and nothing left to lose and you give yourself. Maybe I'm amazed at the way you took me out of line. Okay, all right. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God, I just want to, we all just want to thank you for this, uh, this beautiful day we're having. Lots of sunshine, lots of heat, and, um, uh, just want to pray that everybody has a safe day, and that we all do good in all the challenges, and that we stick together as a tribe. I think we should all put our hands in. Survivors on three. Really loud. One, two, three. Survivors! Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. <laughs> Tribal Council was an atomic bomb on the Alliance. So we had the upper hand, we had the numbers, Megan was on our side, we were after, da we were after Daniel and uh, son of a bitch. At first it was just like I didn't believe it, like it was just like kind of like it wasn't actually there, like it was like this isn't really happening. There's all been all this talk about no one's finding the immunity idol and then it was terrible. That was such a complete, just, we didn't even, we didn't see that coming at all. We had our whole plan based on eliminating Daniel, and now the guy who came up with our plan is gone. So, my alliance is having some serious problems at this point. Yeah, last night, like, all my allies were just, like, really scared that I was going to be voted off by them, just because, like, they didn't know I had the idol. And I was, like, giving, like, Rhino compliments. I was, like, saying, how do you do it? How do you convince my friends to vote me off and everything? And he was just so proud of himself. He's so cocky, as always, but it's, he just had it coming. He, he deserves every bit of it. And I feel no regret doing it. Last night's tribal council really didn't go the way we wanted it to. Or at least our little alliance was with Rhino. We kind of feel like we're screwed now. Or I feel like I'm screwed. I'm the next big threat. And I've already heard rumors that I'm, I'm the next to go. So the pressure's really on for me to win this next uh, challenge to get the immunity. Right now, uh, I think we're going to stay strong to our alliance from last night. Uh, with the five and keep just picking off the threats from the other tribe just one by one. Jay's the next target because he's creating all the conflicts and he's the biggest physical threat and we need to make sure that he doesn't win immunity so we gotta get him out now. That leaves me in a den of cobras. That's how I feel right now. I'm, uh, I'm surrounded by the enemy. They've got eyes on me at all times and uh, I don't know, we've been lied to from the get-go. Those guys are some Sharp tongues, 
save these mothers. So uh, right now we're just we're talking with Megan and, and Zach and, and seeing if we can get anybody this way our way. Because right now they're all behind Daniel because Daniel apparently has told all of them he'll bring him to the final three, which we know can't happen. And immense pressure. And so this challenge, this challenge is going to be like, I'm going to have to go 150%. There's nothing I, if I lose, if I don't, if I don't win the challenge, it's they have more votes than we do. I'm out of here. I gotta win the immunity, or if, if, if I don't, I gotta call, I gotta get someone. I gotta get someone to say, okay, we're gonna vote for, I don't care if it's Daniel, it's just gotta be someone from their tribe to even the playing field again. I mean, right now, I'm like, I'm, I'm a dead man walking, basically. Welcome, survivors, to your immunity challenge. Remember, Whoever wins gets the immunity stick and is safe tonight at Tribal Council. Not only that, but the winner will also choose who goes to exile next. There is a new immunity idol in play. Today's challenge, you will take a ball. We have six areas set up at the end of the playing field. One by one, you will throw the ball, roll the ball any way you see fit. Wherever the ball stops in whichever area gets a certain amount of points. Everyone will get three throws. Whoever has the highest point value will win the challenge. If there's a tie, we'll go to a throw off. We'll let y'all decide on an order and we'll get the challenge started. First up, Daniel. Daniel scores three. Scores a two. Jackson bounces for a two. So at the end of the first round, Daniel in the lead with three points. Everyone else tied with either two, one, and Mike dead last with zero points. Boris lands a three. Scores a two. Mari takes a good bounce and rolls for three. Jay rolls just past the three into the two. At the end of our second round. We have Daniel, Forrest, and Maury tied for first place. One round to go. All right, with the final throws. Daniel, last throw. Daniel, into a two. Zach rolls for three points. Four scores, three points. Mari has the final throw. She needs three points to tie Forrest and go to a throw off. Mari rolls in for three points. Which means we'll have a shoot off between Mari and Forrest. Everyone else can go to the side. Morris throws and rolls a two. Morris shoots. And once again rolls in for a three. Morris rolls.
Mari gets a two, which means Mari has one individual immunity. All right, Mari, come forward, winning individual immunity. You are safe at tonight's tribal council. Also, you have an important decision to make. You will select who will go to exile. Keep in mind that you can select yourself. So, who's it gonna be? Jay. All right, Jay will head to exile. The rest of you, you can head back to camp, and pretty soon, travel council. to make your way beside a tree where immunity lies. Search the area where you live. As alliances go, it's Jay against Daniel as of right now, and so far the people are siding with Jay have asked me to join them to, uh, knock off Daniel so they will be stronger and Daniel is wondering if I'm going to keep my alliance with him or if I'm going to switch over. I think the game is going to be like in our hand now. I think now we're going to be able to just come off one by one. But I'm starting to get nervous about Megan because she's been talking to Mari a lot and she might cross over and that would like uneven it again. Right now we're trying to sway Megan and possibly Zach, but Zach screwed us over in the past so right now it's more focused on Megan who I think is coming over to our side, which will give us the majority. Right now, basically, I'm just, I'm like a support player. I'm helping, I'm gonna help us win challenges. If necessary, I'll lay low on these challenges so my members of my team can win. I don't know, I just don't like doing the cutthroat competition thing. I mean, if I keep winning stuff, I mean, if I keep, if I win an immunity challenge, hell yeah, I'll stay out here. Each of them needed me to make like an alliance with them for a stronger power. I ended up siding with Daniel for last night. And as of right now, I'm thinking of switching over. I'm not sure yet. I guess I'll see as the day progresses. I thought I'd make it this far. I thought it was going to be the first one. Evan, you want me to? First or second. Once again, welcome to our tribal council for today. We'll start things off. Mari, uh, what do you think helped you at that uh, last challenge to win? Uh, well, I'm a basketball player, so I think that had a little bit to do with it. So. Forrest, what's, uh, what's the camp like right now? What is the mood? I mean, I think everybody's still sticking to their alliances that they had. And uh, there is some trouble that we suspect or that everyone suspects. and. Uh, I don't know. We don't know what to what to do about it. So, Zach, what what is this trouble that uh, Forrest's talking about? Most likely that Jay went to exile, and it's possible he has hidden immunity right now. Jay, do you have the hidden immunity on him? Only time will tell. All right, Daniel, how do you base your vote then, uh, at this tribal council, based on whether or not Jay may or may not have a hidden immunity on him? Chance, I guess. Mike, for you, what does this trial council mean? Probable death to the show, <laughs> I would say. 
because Jay went to exile. And I don't know. I just feel like I have a target on my head. <laughs> I'm going to be voted off, I feel. Well, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, Megan, you'll be up to vote. Daniel, I really hope someone pulls through and get, is able to get this guy out because it's pretty much unstoppable if not. It's been the plan since the beginning, and I just plain don't like you. You are a disease. I'm afraid it's too late to stop your spread. All right. The votes have been cast. Once again, if anyone has the hidden immunity idol and wants to play it, now is the time. All right, no one's gonna play it. I'll count the votes. First vote. Daniel. 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 That's three votes, Daniel. Daniel. Michael. 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 That's four votes Daniel, four votes Michael. One vote left. Eighth person voted off Survivor Bush, Hidden Oaks, and the first member of our jury. Michael. Michael, you need to bring me your bandana. Mike, try have spoken. It's time for you guys. The rest of you guys, there are eight left. It's getting down to it. Y'all can head back to camp and see what you want to do. Saw it coming. Don't enjoy it, but I mean, it happens. Somebody's got to go. My alliance had been weakened after we were switched over to Tuscarora, and uh, Daniel is just too powerful. He's just got everybody. She's just got a ton of followers. Jay's hanging in there as best he can. He's playing along well, but I don't, I can't see him lasting much longer. Daniel wants him gone, and he knows he doesn't have the idol. So right now, I bet there's probably going to be a serious search at the camp for that idol. I mean, I had an alliance. Apparently, I didn't have an alliance. What you see is not what you get. With two members of the opposing alliance taken out, sparks fly between the remaining castaways, and the hidden immunity idol creates more controversy as Jay struggles to survive. Stay tuned for this and more next on Survivor Bush.